welcome back to part three of your LifePrint personal performance profile. So just to revise, what we've covered so far is that you go through different phases in your life through the life cycle. And as you develop through those phases and transitions, those are broken down into focal points within a given year, month and day. So you can then also map through the calendar on the top left corner, future or past dates, just to kind of make sure that everything's in alignment. Then we covered the neurological archetype, which lets you know how your brain is wired um, and the internal and external expressions and processes of that. Today, we dive into the real analytics when we compare that neurological archetype to how are the intimate functions of that looking. So we have different personality profiles that we kind of play at during our time and during our life. And so all of that leads us into different channels in which we would, we would grow. So what I want you to bring your attention to is, firstly, the different performance patterns. Those performance patterns are whether I'm at home. Every time you roll over a performance definition written in black, with the bullet points, what's going to happen is it'll give you a definition of exactly what that is in terms of the container. So for instance, the home personality is how we would relate to people on a more intimate level that we know very well at home. Whereas our more professional performance pattern or our social performance pattern is who are we when we walk out the door, when we're in situations where we are unfamiliar? Then we come down to our taste or what is our purpose in life? What is our taste for life? And so this is external in terms of what are we moving to? What is our purpose here? What is it that we want to achieve within our life? Then we come down to who is the person on the inside? Who is our identity? Other people may get to know more of our external performance patterns and profiles, but who are we really on the inside? Who do we identify with? Across from that, we have a look at our instinct or our intuition. How do we respond or behave when we put onto the spot, right? Outside of our comfort zone. And then our unconscious relationship drivers. What do we really want when it boils down to the relationship both with ourselves? and with others. What is really driving us in order for us to feel valued and fulfilled within those relationships? The second part then would be that's kind of all the internal mechanics. And then once we've got that, we would relate and engage with our environment. And so that's where we come down to what we call a satellite. How do I approach my life with all the data that I have, my internal decision making and my expression, how would I then connect or gather information from other people with smell and approach. And then as I'm going through my day-to-day -day engagement with all these different relationships and relationships to myself, my professional performance, my instincts, my intuition, how am I operating? And then what's going to trip me up? What do I need to be aware of in terms of that, which will let us know our lesson and our challenges? Now, remember the five categories of performance. This is where this is going to start to come into a really big deal and a play because within each of these home performance pattern or professional performance pattern, social performance pattern, my instincts, my identity, my relationships, all of those will operate differently and have different profiles which will fall in there. So we have those five categories of performance. First category is intellectual. We have two performance patterns coming from that, inventor and leader. Then we have emotional performance pattern, the connectors, nurturers, and the idealists. Then we have motivational performance patterns, which we have the optimizer or organizer, and then the negotiator. Then we have basically our practical performance patterns. We have the visionary or investigator and the dependable. And lastly, we've got our transformational category of potential and performance, which is the transformer or the child, okay? And depending on which ones you have in which positions. So for instance, I have a nurturer and connector in my home personality. And when I roll over it, it's going to give me my growth and my protective mindset spectrum. If I then click in, it'll give me the whole script in which I can read more details and context 